Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors, and today we're going to take a look at using adaptive layer heights to get better quality on your miniatures. Now, this is expanding on something that I'm covering in my brand new guide to printing FDM miniatures. This guide collects all the little tips and tricks I've come up with over the last decade and puts them in a handy PDF for you. This is also on sale right now. Um, so if you want to go ahead and grab that, I will be updating it in July and you'll get that update for free and any subsequent updates after that. Um, this is a living document, so I will be updating it periodically with new filament reviews, printer reviews, uh, new information that I come up with and things like that. So it's really something handy to grab. And most importantly is as the document grows, I will be increasing the price of it. So there's never going to be a cheaper time to grab it than there is now. And you'll get all the updates. Uh, every time it's updated, you'll get a notification and get that update for free. So let's dive in here. Um, this guide actually covers a whole host of things. Everything from uh, infill percentages to temperature to what different layer heights will look like, which ones have problems on overhangs. Uh, adaptive layers, what to look out for when using adaptive layers, flow percentages, how to adjust them, um, just a whole host of things. I even have a section at the end uh, reviewing filament brands, covering each one in depth, uh, showing what layer heights they're best used at. Um, but all of this is in that document, uh, and it's less than $3 right now on sale, so it's really a handy thing to have uh, if you're going to be printing FDM minis. So what I want to cover here, I've covered this in the guide, but I think it bears having a video to kind of show it in action a little bit. Uh, there's, you know, some things that are best shown as still pictures and some things that are best covered as a video. So uh, adaptive layer heights is one of those things I really think uh, needs to be covered in both formats. So what you're seeing here is a dwarf miniature. Uh, this is using 0 0.06 to 0.1 layer heights. Uh, the gray is 0 0.08, the green is 0 0.06, and the red is 0 0.1. Now, 0 0.06 has an issue on overhang, so I wanted to keep the 0 0.06 uh, away from under the arms as much as possible, where the overhangs would get rougher to the lower layer height, but keep it on the face and the top of the helmet where it's going to be most evident. So, I am using the lowest layer height for the face, the helmet, uh, the top of the shield, and the ground, and the top of the boots. Uh, the sides of the uh, base, which doesn't matter what layer height you print them, I've pushed those up to 0.1 simply to gain a little uh, speed on it and make up for the loss of time for the areas with the green. And then for things like the sword that print best at 0 0.08, we made sure that stayed gray and the sides of the torso. Um, so that said, what you're going to do real quick, and I cover all this in the guide, but I'm going to show you real quick here. So you're going to go up to the printer uh, settings and go over to extruder and you're going to set the minimum to 0 0.06 and the max to 0 0.1. Then you're going to go up here, click those little lines and begin scrubbing. Left clicking will lower the layer height, so that's going to shift it to green. Uh, so it's gone from gray at 0 0.08, the green is 0 0.06, and we're just gently scrubbing that in. What you want to avoid is this slope that you're seeing here, this gradated slope against the black line. Uh, here I'm going to show it to you in red. You want to get rid of this. We want to have a nice, good, even transition from the green to the gray. We don't want it staggered because the printer's going to struggle with all the oddball layer heights uh, during, on this slope and it could cause some defects. So we want a nice, hard, um, uh, as close to instant transition as possible from one layer height to the other. I found this looks best and this is what you're wanting it to look like. So once um, you've identified an area uh, that has the slope on here, it's very easy to fix. What you're going to do is go in and hold the shift key down over the slope and that's going to push it back to baseline which is that black line and we're just going to scrub over it smoothing it out and what it should look like is this and it should have a nice hard termination then and there I'm going to scrub that back in a little bit and then adjust it again shift click just to get it back under that hilt because the hilt's going to have a problem uh, printing with that overhang at 0 0.06 so there, that looks pretty good. 
I've got the green where I need it and it's not in any critical overhang areas where it would cause them to look worse. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add some green on top of the boots and for the floor because that's really going to enhance it a lot. And once that's done, I am going to add uh, probably some, yeah, let's smooth that out a little bit there. Yeah, a little high up, smooth it. And then I'm going to add some red to the side of the base and push that to point 0.1. And that should do it. So I can go up and slice it and print the mini now. And this is what it's going to look like. This looks really, really good. I'm very happy with this. Uh, the top of the helmet, the face, uh, top of the boots and the floor look extremely smooth. Um, the rest of the body on the overhangs at 0 0.08 look great. Uh, the overhangs did not start fraying or start looking rough. Uh, so this is really an easy way to max out Get the lower layer heights where they'll do you the most good, but don't just do the entire miniature at them and start getting rougher looking overhangs. And I do cover in my guide, um, I show what each layer height uh, for the tested brands of filament look like. So you can kind of be the judge of how low, depending on the brand of filament you're using, you want to push your layer heights and adjust your minimum and maximum settings for the adaptive layer heights accordingly. So, as I said, that my guide is linked in the video description. It is on sale right now. Um, I will be updating it in another month or so. So, if you grab it now, you'll be getting that update for free. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button. Thank you.